Hello, I'm just collecting all the things that I actually wanted to show you. <laughs> Although it's a bit silly now, as soon as I've kind of finished one of the chocolate things. Oh, sorry. That would be the stupid computer being special. Right, where is the advert for computer errors? I don't think that was it, to be honest. <laughs> had boobies on it. It that's probably not it. That has food on it. That's probably not it. Although it looks really nice. I don't know. Well, I do apologise if it comes up again. Right. This is what Dane got me for Easter. He got. He got me an early Easter present because he's at work today. And, um, yeah. <laughs> so he got me a cute little bunny. You can get them on the fairies, but he got me the last pink one. The last pink one. Eee! I suppose he would have got me a purple one if there had been a purple one. <laughs> so there's a, there was only my second favourite colour there. But that's still good. Anyway, and um, he, he, I'll sort it out. <laughs> I'll sort it out first. But I will say there is no chocolate left in this. I have eaten all of the chocolate that is left. That was, that was in it. There's a little um, carrot for your bunny. It goes with your bunny. <laughs> and I'm really hoping that you can actually see this because I have no clue because I can't check very well because of where I've put the phone. <laughs> anyway, and then he also got me, if I put these over there, he also got me, which I'm still eating now, these. And they taste like cookies and cream. And they're lovely. And the other reason I wanted to make this video is because I wanted to tell all my fans, all, all my subscribers that watch my videos, that I'm very sorry, but unless my mummy is very, 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 very nice, and loves me, oh, that sounds really horrible, and loves me very much, she will do it this for me. <laughs> But I don't know if she will. She might not have the money to do it, which is fair enough. I don't have the money to do it. I have the money to buy the ticket. And that's it. <laughs> that's, so I have the money to buy the ticket. I do get paid before um, the YouTube event that I've been invited to. But I don't actually know exactly how much it's going to cost. And not only that, but I'd actually have to find the university. It's this. This is what I'm on about. That. That's what I'm on about. It's on the 3rd of May. I really, really want to go because I've never been to a YouTube event. And uh, because mainly I've never been invited to one, I don't know when they are. I've never um, been how to, like, find out when they are. Um, this, uh, this is what happens with most things that I may have had the money to go to but I didn't know about it so I didn't know that I would have the money to go to it because I usually find out at the last minute like say on the day or the day before it and then it's just like oh but it's too far away and I don't have the money anymore and mm. so I'd love to go I really would love to go but the problem is is I I can I could probably go to London or pu through London because it's through London or that's probably the way I would choose to go if I were if I went on my own but um I'm not very good at traveling on my own especially when um I'd also have to sort out a place to stay 
so that I actually have somewhere to stay, of course, because it would take up like three days because it would take, say, probably the whole day getting there, then the day of doing it, because I would also have to find the place as well, so I'd have to go down there probably early to, yeah, it says 11am, which isn't too bad, that's, that's that would probably give me enough time to find it. <laughs> it would probably yeah give me enough time to find it but it would be much better if I could either take a friend or a friend well yeah I suppose it would be better if I could if a friend could take me <laughs> as such because because well I pa I get panic attacks when I travel on my well not on my own because I haven't really traveled properly on my own I've traveled like say to interviews and to um and to college on my own like college and school and stuff and my phone's just fallen over i do apologize for that <laughs> that's because i was trying to get comfortable because I'm a fidget bum. sorry i am a very much fidget bum and the chair was moving around on its own when i was trying to move <laughs> so everything just <laughs> anyway as i was saying yeah so I have a few panic attacks when I've been to London, and um, well, yeah. Um, I went the last time that I went with my mum. She got on the um, underground train, and so did Theo, and um, I didn't get on it in time. And I had a pan. Well, I suppose it's not a proper a panic attack, but I panicked. I really did panic and it scared the hell out of me and it meant when me and Dane, my boyfriend, went up on holiday last to Wales because we had to go through London that, um, that I mean we were okay, nothing bad happened but it was just, it's the crowds that do it and I don't like the crowds and I get really worried that I'm going to lose whoever I'm with. So, I, I don't, I really seriously don't think I could do it on my own. Because of my dyslexia, I can't, well, I don't know if it is because of my dyslexia, but I can't read maps, so I wouldn't be able to read the train map to get to where I'm going. And that would probably give me, <laughs> that would probably make me panic. And then I'd, and it'd be this thing of sorting out um, where the place to stay is and then um, trying to find that and then uh, god there's just be so much hassle and I don't know if I could go through that has all that hassle on my own just to get to this thing just to get to this YouTube thing ah oh. sorry I've just read part of it and that's made me want to do it even more. That's going to make me cry because there's the word cancel. I'm sorry. My granddad died not long ago of cancer. I know he's not a teenager because <laughs> it's a teenager cancer trust thing. But I would like to go even more now. This is a thing for cancer. And now I can't stop crying. Oh, sorry. I do apologise. Oh, I miss him so much. I know I felt so bad when he when he passed away because I didn't get to see him the day before because I was too busy with Dane and I felt so bad anyway let's try and stop crying Lily anyway yes so yes I would really really like to go but unless I can get the money and um, find someone who will take me or at least go with me It'd be nice if they could enjoy enjoy it with me as well because I need to be I need to get back with them as well. I need someone there, but I think 
I'm worried that if I ask Dane that he's going to be working, and plus even if he was, say, working then the day that is after the, this, it still wouldn't work because I would need three days to be how to do it really because it would probably take a day to get there and a day to get back and a day to actually do the thing in the first place. Uh, and also, I don't have many subscribers. And plus, I don't know if, if if either all of you would be able to come go, or whether just some of you be there, or none of you would be there. Because <laughs> I don't know you very well. I haven't I haven't speak speak uh, spoken <laughs> to any of you. And I haven't seen any comments, so that's also why I don't. There's that's one of the points of why I don't want to go, because I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to go, and then no one, none of my subscribers say hi to me, and then me feel a little bit disappointed because I went to see um, my fans as such, if they if they are there. And I also wouldn't want to disappoint you lot, but. This is this is my dilemma. I don't have a job at the moment, and even if I did, yeah, I would probably have the money to go. But it's still the factor of having someone to either get me there or just at least go with me, <laughs> because I'm too panicky and too scared to do stuff like this on my own. It sounds silly, but. It's just, it would be so much hassle and so much stress, and even me thinking of doing it is making me stressed. <laughs> but I do really, really want to go to it. So, to all my subscribers out there who can go and were hoping to see me there, I'm very, very sorry if I can't do it because I don't know yet. I've still got to speak to my mum and see if she could maybe take me there and maybe get um, bring me back I would like to uh, maybe go with me because she might she might actually want to go to it she, I don't know, it's, it's in a university and she's a teacher <laughs> no, I, I know there's a little connection but it might be enough for her to want to go with me and plus, she might want to go, because even though, granted, it wasn't a teenager and isn't a teenager, he, he died from cancer. So that might also make her want to go. And it sounds horrible, but in a way, I hope a little bit that might be where she wants to go. I haven't done much cancer research. I've done something for breast cancer research. I... I ran, well, sorry, I, I'll, t I'll take that back, I jogged, <laughs> I jogged, I, did, I would jog a little bit, then walk a little bit, then jog a little bit, and so on, because <laughs> I'm not a very good runner, I get out of breath really quickly, <laughs> I don't run unless I really, really, really have to, like to get to college, or an interview, or to get the train in some way when I'm trying to get to somewhere. Most of the time, it's when, it, sometimes it's even when I'm trying to get to mates. And it's just like, oh! Most of the time it's when I'm trying to get back, back to Dane. <laughs> yesterday, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday, when I was coming back to um, be held to see Dane for like the few hours that he where he had finished work. Oh, no, not yesterday. Sorry. Friday. Sorry, my days are really mixed up because I went out drinking Thursday. So, because I usually go out drinking, say, on a Friday night or a Saturday night, I'm not used to doing it on Thursday night, so my days get all mixed up and I get confused of what day it is. I'm still having to tell myself in my head today is Sunday 
It's Sunday today, people. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so. And, um. I would properly apologise that I'm still in my pyjamas and I have no makeup on, and you can probably tell that I'm a bit sunburnt in my face because I went fishing yesterday, which definitely wasn't a lot of fun. I might do another video in a bit, actually, and tell you about my f fishing day, but I don't know. It was horrible. I know that much. <laughs> oh! So I've just noticed that on on your events thing next to events that you may be looking at it also says this week craft fair tomorrow at, at 10 a.m. I don't know if I'll go to that. I might do. I might just go and have a sneaky look, but I don't know because Dane's free, so I will probably be seeing him. To be honest. But it would be cool to go and have just a look. I might I might take him down. <laughs> Drag him down to deal and go, You're going to this with me. Ha ah! The computer decided to go, No, you're not saying that anymore. Anyway. <laughs> and then the second thing that I can go to, because I've got the money for the tickets, I've got somewhere to stay. I don't even really have to pay to go to have to stay there. But if my mum wanted me to, I would. <laughs> it's basically my mum's. And um, I've got, so I've got the money to get there. I've got the money to pay for the ticket. And um, I will have the money because I get paid before it. I get paid in that week. Well, hopefully, should I, if the computer wants to let me job search, <laughs> then I will have enough money. <laughs> to actually go to Steep Fest and I will try and do a video of the bands <laughs> that I listened to and me dancing around like I did last time as I went. <laughs> I don't actually think that there's been a time when I haven't gone to Steep Fest to be honest because I do try and go to them. I usually like I usually spend my like last eight pounds on the ticket or last five pounds. I think it was five pounds last year. Yeah, they've put it up three more pounds. <laughs> they seem to put it up every year, but that's fair enough because it's a it's a charity thing. Anyway, yeah. So that's what I was just doing the video for, and this is probably a really long video now because <laughs> I don't know how long the, it's been playing the, it's been making the video I've been making the video oh god I do apologise that I can't seem to talk properly today but it's probably because I'm tired from getting a sunburn not catching any fish very angry about that and getting moaned at all day by any little thing that I've done wrong or maybe done wrong just because Dane had three snags of the day or my pinky got tangled in someone else's rod and snagged as well. I got snagged once, okay? Yes, pinky got snagged. But, but I think it's because she was snagged around five things. <laughs> I think that's what made it annoying. But she doesn't get used very much. And um, she's probably not going to get used again for a while because I don't. Because of the experience, the sole fact of he moaned at me so much, it kind of put me off. And he said, Oh, I'm not usually like that. So, well. It's not my fault you got snagged. It's not my fault Pinky got snagged. Anyway. Now you know, anyway. <laughs> There's no point in doing another video of that. Anyway, so yeah. So, what I really wanted to say is that I wanted to show you the things I got for Easter and I want to apologise for me maybe not being held to go to that. And my phone is now telling me that. Um, if I do any longer, I may not be able to put it on the hard on the um the um oh what's it called the card thing in the phone the memory card that's the word so I'm going to say goodbye before I really don't have enough room so bye bye.